Tonight, a key piece of the Kansas City Chiefs defense has pleaded not guilty to a misdemeanor count. Overland Park police arresting Willie Gay Jr. just after midnight on the domestic violence offense. More specifically, criminal damage of to property. Fox 4's Jonathan Ketz is joining us now live from downtown Olathe with the latest on this. Jonathan? Yeah, Christelle and John Gay is still in custody right now here inside the Johnson County Sheriff's Office. And earlier this afternoon, we learned more about the alleged incident involving Gay and the mother of their three month old child. An Overland Park police report says officers responded to the Highlands, a gated community on 81st Street East of I-35, just after 9.30 Wednesday night. The police report shows one offense involving domestic battery, another involving misdemeanor criminal damage to property, and a third involving criminal trespassing. Gays accused of damaging a vacuum, cell phone screen protector wall, and trim around a door frame and a humidifier, resulting in $225 in damage. Gay only faces one charge, criminal damage to property. He made his first appearance Thursday in Johnson County, but his attorney's not commenting right now. This morning, his manager gave Fox Ford this statement, quote, Willie was at his son's house visiting. He and the mother got into an argument during which he broke her vacuum. No one was touched. Nothing happened beyond broken appliances. She called cops about it, and they took him in on misdemeanor destruction of property of less than $1,000. Likely just pays a fine and replaces the vacuum. Nothing more. All should be resolved today with no further issues. The judge granted a protection order for the baby's mom. For now, the judge ordered him to have no contact with that woman or his son. He's due back in court March the 2nd. Okay, so the question is, what did the chief say about all this? Defensive coordinator Steve Spagnolo did say that Gay obviously not at practice today when he did his media availability. As to whether or not he plays on Sunday, that's up to head coach Andy Reid. He is expected to talk to the media about this tomorrow.